Good girl, Haven. Yeah. yeah. So this is Haven. I'm Jared. Um, I'm the building coordinator with oh. For Love of God. Yes, I am. Um. For Love of Dog Rescue is a nonprofit. We are located um, out of Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, we are a dog rescue. Um, we take in uh, dogs in need. Um, we do not get much in grants. We rely very much on public donation and fundraising. The funds that come into the rescue from primarily private donations um, go to medical care primarily. The vet bills that we take on every month are astronomical. Um, I think we average about $15,000 a month in vet bills. And that's why Giving Hearts Day and things, you know, events like this are so important um, to keep our rescue going and giving us the ability to take in the amount of dogs that we take in every year. So we will always make sure that we are giving the dog plenty of space as soon as if the dog wants space. Some dogs do not want space as we can see. We'll always try to find a foster home before the dogs arrive in our care. A lot of the dogs that do show up here their lives have been turned upside down. When I see dogs that have spent a long period of time at the shelter specifically it really makes me feel happy that we had a place for them um, to crash until we found a foster home or an adoptive home. I know nothing, you're supposed to say nothing's perfect, but if a family can care and love for a dog for the rest of its life, that's really perfect. So um, that's what I hope for. And if it takes longer sometimes, um, if Haven here has to stay for six months, eight months, a year to find that perfect fit, whether it be other dogs, family, lifestyle, whatever it may be. That's really what I'm looking for when I when we take in dogs, so. The adoption process was really quick. Uh, we thought it would be a whole lot longer, um, but we basically messaged them uh, that we were interested in Phoenix the foster family reached out uh, within like two days we were able to visit him and take him for a walk and like get to know him a little bit and after filling out the application for him um, we had him within a week after the home visit so um, it was very quick and we were very happy to add him to our family we first got him, he was a lightning bolt of energy, um, about 50 pounds with huge baseball sized paws. And now he still has baseball sized paws, but he's relaxed a lot more now. Still energetic puppy like, he hasn't lost that youthfulness to him, but definitely enjoy, enjoys snuggling on the couch way more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been amazing. Um, He's definitely fit in with our personalities. Um, he's goofy and lovable and just, we wouldn't imagine our life without him now. I think everybody should at least support a charity of some sort and supporting ones that helps furry friends. I can't think of anything better. When I try to think back on what like my favorite rescue or the one that left the most impact. Um, I can't come up with just one. Uh, when I look at some of the fosters that have been in my home, we have dogs that have been so fearful and so uh, not socialized and haven't been around people and haven't been around dogs and to get to see them start to be a dog. And the first time they pick up a toy or the first time they jump on the couch um, and just do normal dog things that you don't even think about and to watch a dog that's been so terrified and not wanting to come out of their kennel but to see them pick up a bone or cuddle under a blanket, it's, that's what makes you feel like what you're doing is really making a difference. 